Okay guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install a stock ROM onto your Samsung S8 or S8 Plus device. Now, what does a stock ROM mean? So stock ROM is the ROM which came with the phone or is supplied by the manufacturer in case your phone crashes, you can install it. How to install it? You need a piece of software. I would suggest that you use a Windows computer and you can uh, install it straight away. You have to download few files and that's what I'm going to show you and that's what this video is going to be about. So guys, without any delay, let's get into it and let's see what you need to do to install a stock firmware onto your Samsung S8 or S8 Plus or any other Android phone. So there are a few files which you need to download. I'll put a link in the description. I made another video on how to root your Samsung phone, your Samsung S8 or S8 Plus. But this tutorial is going to be specifically for any Android phone. Uh, the process is the same. First of all, you need your stock firmware. So th these are the files which I got from the stock firmware. You need AP, BL, CP, CSC and Home CSC. Now I'm going to put a link in the description where you can download this. As you can see I've downloaded two of these. This one didn't work and this one is for the EU. This one worked and it's working fine. Second you need Odin. So the Odin I'm using is version 3 which is 3.1.3.1. Uh, I'm using this because it's quite stable and it worked for me. I recommend that you know you could just download the up updated version and you should always use an updated version of the Odin software. So let's go ahead guys and let's uh, fire up Odin. So once when you open up Odin, uh, you'll find this screen. Now this is the main, main Odin interface. Now before because I've not connected my, um, my phone so the IDCOM is empty at the moment and as you can see, BL, AP, CP, CSC, and user data. So they're the files which we downloaded, and all we have to do is we have to enter them over here. Now the trick part is that first of all, you need to connect your phone, and it should appear up over here. So guys, I've just connected my phone. If it gives you a pop-up box and it says allow or deny, just click allow, and uh, that's it. And after that, if you look into your software, it would give you a COM3 or COM2 or whatever. It'll give you a, an option over here it'll turn blue which means that it's been added you can see over here it's saying added and then you have to start the process so the first thing is you have to add these files so let's start off by BL so click on the BL and wherever you've downloaded your file um, or your folder just go over there and click on the because we need BL so we'll click on the BL then we click on the AP and here we go guys AP and we open up AP now AP normally takes some time to load so once it's loaded it will show up over here just wait patiently it'll say over here not responding don't worry that's normal so it'll just take a few minutes and it should be fine right guys so AP has been loaded and then we click CP and we choose CP right and then CSC and CSC over here so guys, we have got BL, AP, CP, and CSC. Now forget this user data, you don't need to worry about it. And uh, yeah, that's it. These are the, the four files which you need on the Odin. So once this is done, don't click reset or start, just wait. Now go to your phone and remove the cable. So power off your phone completely. So guys, once your phone is turned off, what you need to do is you need to press the volume down, Bixby key and the power key. So let's go ahead and do that. So volume down, Bixby key and the power key together. Right guys, so you would get this page. All right, and as soon as you get this page, you can just leave the keys. And after that, it says volume up, continue or volume down to cancel or restart. So because we want to install the stock firmware, so we can just hit continue. And as soon as we hit the volume up key, it says downloading, do not turn off the target. Here, what you need to do is you need to plug in your USB cable, which is plugged into your PC. Just uh, plug it back in again into your mobile phone. And right now, it'll basically on the Odin, it'll pick up as that it's connected. And here, what you need to do is you need to click the start button. So if I were to click the start button, it would straight away start loading the stock ROM. 
which I had downloaded and the, the whole process will basically start. So here we go guys, I've hit start. It's showing up on the phone that it's downloading and there's a progress bar over here. That is absolutely normal. And on the Odin you'll see this, it's a system and there's this green progress bar. Just be very patient, leave your phone on the side and just wait. So guys, once the process is done on your Odin, it should say pass and it'll give you the time it took to install the stock firmware onto your phone. Okay, so once that process is done, it should restart. And that's very normal and it'll show you the Samsung logo. And from here, you have to set up your phone as a new new setup, like as if you bought it from the shop and you are just gonna set it up from scratch. So at this stage, you can remove the cable and you can close Odin. So it'll just take some time and your phone will basically, it'll start up. You can see on my phone that the writing is in Thai. So because I bought, bought this phone from Thailand, so that is why it's showing up as Thai. So it's going to be reset to the factory settings. So you don't have to worry if the language is different. All you have to do is just change the language in the setup. And that's it. And then I'll start setting up my phone. Here we go guys, it's all done. I've lost my route and obviously my data is gone as well. So make sure once you do this process and before you do this process, just back up all your data. And uh, yeah, because it's very important because in this process you could just lose everything. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give that thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. And I am also doing other giveaways and have a look at those. Um, and I'll be posting other videos on the Android operating system. If you have any questions regarding uh, your Samsung phone or if you have another Android device and you're struggling with it, uh, just leave your comments in the section below and I'll reply back to you. So guys, uh, thanks once again and catch you in my next video. Bye for now.